Hey guys, this is Hunter. I'm out in the woods today. It's about 28 degrees. It's pretty chilly. Um, but what I'm out here doing is I'm going to try my hammock in the cold weather like this with a sleeping bag and sleeping bag liner. A couple different things trying to keep it warm. Uh, because when you are in a hammock and you sleep on a down bag or something like that, it uh, makes all the fluff kind of go flat and doesn't have as much uh, insulating power, so to speak. And so I'm out here kind of testing that effect and seeing uh, what it's like in less than freezing, <laughs> less than 32 degrees, or in this case, 28 degrees. Um, I'm gonna try a couple other things, but um, just follow along and we'll see how it goes. So what I have is my 45 degree bag on the outside here and I have my, um, it's not silk but it's supposed to be a synthetic silk uh, sleeping bag liner. It's supposed to add 10 to 15 degrees in a normal situation. I'm not sure how much it's going to really help. It's polyester and so it'll probably help uh, trap in some of my body heat. Um, and then this is not very fluffy, it's been compressed. So that'll probably reduce the uh, thermal retention properties of it considerably. But I'm going to give it a whirl and see him take my muddy boots off. I'm probably going to leave my coat and pants and everything on it. I've got thermals on underneath this. So we'll see how it works. that the this system is pretty good um, it kept me fairly warm um, the top for sure which again I do have layers on in addition to you know just that but um, you know the top of me you know my chest my arms top of my legs everything even my head uh, was plenty warm um, the challenge was kind of the back side of your legs and your back um, even my back wasn't too bad, but especially where uh, your bottom is sitting in the the bottom of the um, hammock, it kind of comes to that point and there's not that much insulation. So that really, uh, that and my feet were is what got the coldest, but I have an idea. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a uh, emergency blanket and put on the inside here. And also I'm gonna run a, another line and put my tube tent uh, it's not my tarp tent, a tube tent over top of it, and we'll kind of see if that helps. I look goofy with two hats on but <laughs> it's chilly out here and uh, so it's still 30 degrees 
so all of my testing was at 32 or below the biggest things i figured out on this trip that i would probably do differently is i would definitely start out with the emergency blanket i use a bear girls survival blankets a little bit bigger but the thing is it added a whole new layer of warmth not necessarily from the you know thickness of it but from the reflective nature of it so it blocked i folded it over in half so i had a reflective side going this way and a reflective side coming up back towards my body and that was a significant improvement uh for sure over just the you know just having a sleeping bag sleeping bag liner in a hammock uh, also having the tube tent definitely helped because it blocked out a lot of the wind which the wind's really chilly and uh, so the I, I mean it's 30 degrees just sitting here but i wonder what the the wind chill factor is i'm not sure but it definitely is a factor <laughs> um one thing i would do is i would probably use duct tape and put duct tape on my tube tent it was my first time to use it so what i would do is i'd probably take a little bit of tape and run over the an edge or whatever and then i'd make a kind of i'd try to put a uh, some kind of bracket on it or something where i could tie it off to each end of the trees um so that i could keep it taunt and stuff like that that would be a big help and then what i'd also do is like if you have your if you have your tube tent like this and it's open on this end and open on this end i'd probably get I, again i'd use probably duct tape to kind of reinforce it because it it's, it's like a thick garbage bag it's tough but you don't want to stress it if it's your shelter <laughs> um so i would reinforce a couple different areas up and down each end and then i would probably get some of those um black paper clip things like where you squeeze it and it'll and it opens up and you can let go and it clamps down on it i'm not sure what those are called uh, and then you can kind of flip the sides down over top of it i'd probably get a couple of those and put down each side um or each end rather to kind of keep the airflow to a little bit more of a minimum especially if the wind's blowing like across the top of your head as you're laying in the hammock um definitely close that back that end uh that would help uh so i definitely will do that and then the other thing i would do is i would definitely use a uh, kind of the heat hand warmer things where you kind of it's little packets that you I forgot they're hand warmers and you just rub them together and give them oxygen and then they start to warm up and then you can tuck them in pockets or near your socks and stuff I would definitely bring a pair of wool socks and uh, a couple packs of those and I put one down by my feet and probably one in my back pocket uh, maybe two back there <laughs> depending on the level of quality you got because you can get eight or ten hour ones and I'd probably get an eight or ten hour one because uh, it takes a few minutes to get them started and everything so that's kind of my thoughts and feedback about my adventures today and um, hopefully uh, I don't have to survive with this type of stuff I'm just coming out here and kind of testing it kind of a gear test so to speak but um, I definitely could make it work if I was in an emergency survival situation I could totally make it work I could build a fire I've got all the stuff I mean there's ways to augment your body warmth and retain that so just be mindful of that and uh, I will be <laughs> as well but it's my first time to do a lot of the things I did today and so I'm real excited about trying those out and like my motto has been lately I want to encourage you to get out there and try it for yourself shoot a video send it to me let me know what you think and um you know it's there's a whole different experience from watching it on youtube or you know a video that someone sent you and getting out there and trying it yourself there's just nothing like it and um a lot of things i had to learn like i tried to do my taunt line hitch and you know not and stuff like that and you know if you don't practice it every day it it's not super easy just to remember those things but you kind of figure it out and you kind of learn what when to use it and how to use it and stuff like that so I definitely recommend getting out there and just trying things and but like I was getting around to say is my motto has been lately instead of just existing get out there and survive and uh, so that's my farewell and I hope to see you in the next video